So today we will have a class on angular velocity. So average angular velocity, it is the ratio of the angular displacement to the time taken by the object to the undergo the displacement. So let us take, this is a line of reference, this OX, O be the origin and let a particle be at A position when T equals to 0 second. So T equals to 0 second and this particle is moving in a circular path. So this particle is moving in a circular path. Then what happens at certain time when this particle moves at A dash at when time equals to T second making an angle theta. So after a dead T time, so let it make, let it move to the position A double dash making a small that is del theta. So from A to A double dash, it has from A to A double dash, the particle has moved an angular displacement that is theta plus del theta at time p equals to p plus del t time. So here the average angular velocity equals to the change in the displacement that we can say that angular displacement here it is theta plus del theta minus theta, so this is a small change by t plus del t time minus this is t time, from here it gets t time. So we get here, it gets cancelled off, we get here v equals to del theta by del t. Since this is a scalar quantity, therefore this becomes also a scalar quantity. Now, here instantaneous angular velocity is a vector quantity because here the time interval when it approaches to zero, then we can write of omega equals to limit del t tends to zero that is del t del theta by del t which is equals to d theta by dt since this is a vector quantity therefore this is also vector quantity so we can write here omega is equals to d theta by dt 